state of near anarchy in the fiercest fighting that there's been since the civil war began eight years ago now. Syrian-backed Muslim militia units seem to have gained the upper hand over the Lebanese army and the Christian phalange units. In fact, reports we're getting indicate that the Lebanese army has all but lost control of Beirut. Now, since this latest outbreak of violence began, we have not so far heard much from the Israeli government. And Israel is a major factor in the outcome in the Lebanon. Israel, of course, still has a large force in the south of the country. So now, where does Israel see this crisis leading? Well, Mr David uh, Kimchi is Director General of the Israeli Foreign Ministry. Could we just have your assessment of the uh, current situation, Mr Kimchi? Well, I believe that everything depends on what happens inside the Lebanese arms, the PLO. We right. removed that threat, and that's what we intend to do in the first place, and we succeeded in doing it. Mr Kimchi, thank you. Thank you. Well, now, uh, a little bit closer to home in the, the Philippines. Father Brian Gore, the, uh, the Australian... Make your pun. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Uh, closer to home, Father Brian Gore, the Australian Catholic priest who's facing murder charges. He suffered another setback today. His trial, along with that of eight of his colleagues, has been looking at how Nifty Nev has done it. Don't need to say it anymore. Mr. Ramp, we just clarify the position then that the extent of your knowledge of the Jackson affair no, was as gonna, stated on no, the 11th no, of October? No one's going to cross-examine me anymore. Ugly scenes at Bondi last October. 1983 hadn't been his most successful year, and the normally measured and composed RAM did something he doesn't often do in public. He lost his cool. You've got a tendency to raise your voice just a little too much. You're a young man, and perhaps when you grow up a little, you'll be a bit more polite. Well, can I ask you, was the nature of your briefing just what sort of put your name This was the turning point for Neville RAM. There had been the Four Corners allegations, his exoneration swiftly followed by the early release fiasco, then the Jackson affair and poor by-election results. Australia's most popular Premier's ratings had sunk to an all-time low. Well, it was a time 